Hello, pipe mates. Gary here. I'm old and in the way. Coming to you today from the back porch on a uh, slightly overcast day, but the temperature has cooled down significantly from yesterday, <clears throat> so I'm appreciative of that. I am not a hot weather person. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the subject today is light pipes, small pipes, featherweight pipes. Um, you may have caught Roland's <clears throat> video of a couple of weeks ago where he shared some of his featherweight pipes with us. And I thought that was a, a very interesting video and it brought to mind uh, my own collection and how I have collected lighter, smaller pipes over the years. When we, when we look for a pipe, we're, we're looking at the shape that we like, the size, how it fits in our hand, the feel, and maybe to a lesser degree, the weight. Um, and I find myself that the lighter pipes are are just a joy to smoke. It's it's like having a toothpick in your mouth or a, or a straw. And so I just wanted to share some of my lighter pipes with you for your consideration. Before I get into that, hmm, this tobacco. Uh, I just received my Watch City cigar uh, sample of um, Simply Orange, and it is simply delicious. <laughs> uh, this is my third or fourth bowl. Mm. Citrusy, sour, to a degree. Reminiscent of capstan yellow, or gold, in my opinion. When I get my cadence just right, and I'm about halfway through the bowl, I have detected toasted coconut. It's just there and, and uh, absolutely delicious. And interspersed with the, the citrusy flavor of the Virginias, uh, it's, it's really, really delicious. So I confess that I have not been a huge, huge fan of Virginia's my entire smoking life. I really tend towards Balkans and Englishes. I really love them in all their forms and manifestations. Uh, and I have not really glommed on to a Virginia that I love, but I'm starting to, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this. I got three ounces. Uh, anyone at Watch City, if they're listening, <laughs> uh, this is what this is a keeper in my humble opinion. So, what am I smoking it in? A very interesting pipe that was gifted to me by Jeff the Chef. Thank you, Jeff. So kind of you to do this. He knows that I like Prince shapes, and he was he had a couple that he really didn't fancy. And so he gifted them to me. This one is interesting because it is a royal oak. It's not a British pipe. It's actually a Savinelli second uh, that was made for the American market. The interesting thing about it, hopefully you can see this, is the what they call a dual barrel bit. Yeah two little holes instead of the slot. Interesting. My understanding is that this pipe is fairly old. Uh, probably manufactured during the time of Achille Jr.'s reign at Savinelli. So I haven't been able to find out a specific age. I don't know if that's possible. But anyway, it's a lovely, lovely pipe. Mm. 
Simply Orange is delicious. I hope you guys got some. Tamper of the day is my Larry Blackett tamper, sort of on the lines of the uh, Eight Deco, the um, Bamboo. I saw Larry Saturday at the Chicago Pipe Show. More on that later. I did pick up four pipes, four estate pipes. Had a lovely time. So, let's get to the subject here. <laughs> no more waffling. Um, this pipe, this Royal Oak Savinelli, is about 40 grams. And this Rossi Piccolo is 25 grams. You see the difference in size and shape. And so what I find is that it is such an, a nice clenching pipe. And small pipes, light pipes, are good for 30 to 45 minute smoke. And if you don't have an hour and a half to spare, uh, if you want to possibly smoke more than one bowl, consider a smaller, smaller pipe. This one you've seen before, this is my ROP or rope. It's more like a squished tomato, but it has these prints like features. 25 grams. So I should say that all of these pipes, that's a J06, this is a J16, slightly more prints like in its shape. Very elegant stem and stummel. I just love the the Prince shape, a J22 apple. You, you might see that I'm kind of tending towards these smaller ROP pipes. Uh, this is a Blake Mar Briars bull cap. Lovely, lovely pipe. And this was a gift from my dear friend Emil. In Sweden, this is a Swedish pipe made in Gothenburg Pipe Center pipes, 25 grams. So easy to clench, nice for working outside, for reading a book, um, for those 30 to 45 minute smokes. A Dublin by a company called Tower. It was a London-made pipe. I got this from Cass Cassidy. 25 grams. Here's another ROP. This is 20 grams. And it has got a fairly decent-sized bowl. And it affords a 30-minute smoke. And finally, this little butt chicon. This may be a, a ladies pipe. I got this in a estate sale and I was just, I thought the shape looked rather elegant, sort of like a, a small church warden. Uh, this pipe is 19 grams and I use it for tasting, sampling. Uh, which is another advantage to uh, to a small pipe is that you can if you have a tobacco that's very flavorful uh, maybe high nicotine content um, yeah you don't want to you don't want to throw that into a Peterson 302 system pipe that has a very substantial bowl for point of comparison Many of you are familiar with this pipe. Weighs in at a hefty 70 grams. I'm not going to take this out on a uh, ramble in the woods uh, unless I'm going to be sitting uh, and, and holding it. Um, so something to consider 
I know certain fellows out there have a preference for larger pipes, and that's cool. Um, that's your preference. That's what attracts you to that pipe, and that's fine. And I would just uh, you know, ask you to consider um, the, the positives, the, the interesting things about a smaller pipe in, in your collection. Uh, variety is is nice. I don't always feel like smoking a small pipe. There, I, I want an hour and a half or or two hours, and these just don't cut it for that. I want something a little more substantial to hold on to, and I'm going to reach for my larger pipes. But these have a place in my collection, and I certainly enjoy smoking them. Well, I'm going to sign off for now. I hope you all take it easy and enjoy your pipes. And until next time, take it easy, but take it. <laughs>